Hi, it's Tanya and I'm here to talk yarn. Today I want to talk to you about the Knit Crate Mystery Bundles. I got some other little things from Knit Crate that I love too, but I got some bundles. Um, they are on sale for $39.99 and you get six skeins of mystery yarn and I think it's a stellar deal because it's great quality, usually alpaca yarn that is a really, really beautiful and a great deal at six of them for 40 bucks, in my opinion. I got a number of them <laughs> because they had like one of the specials and they had a buy one, get one. And so I went to teeny tiny bit crazy because you got to figure, I thought, and I'd already purchased them before at um, the full price of $39.99. So when I had the buy one, get one, I, I got a few. So I'll show you some of the yarn that might come in your um, Knit Crate Mystery Bundle if you purchase one. The thing I will tell you is you can find a lot of these online. So if you search up on Facebook, Knit Crate on Facebook, you'll find uh, a Knit Crate group, not just the Knit Crate company, but a Knit Crate group. And you'll see a number of mystery bundles published there too. So if you want to sort of get an idea, if you're thinking about purchasing and you're like, well, what, what other stuff might I get in there? Um, that might give you a better idea so that you can see there as well. But I'll show you what I got in mine. Um, two of them were exactly the same. So I ended up with like four skeins of each one in those. So this is from the two that were exactly the same. Um, here I have this is Vitalana Dusk. I actually got this color in my crate itself. So I was pretty stoked to get more of it because I got four more. So now I have, what, six of these. So that'll make a nice little project. This is a beautiful, I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. This is Midnight is the color. Not very midnighty, but whatever it is, a blue. Um, it's 60% Huikaya Apaka. It is... Um, 40% Surrey alpaca, and it's DK weight. It's 231 yards, 100 grams. All of this stuff is going to be hand wash, um, and it is all made in Peru, I believe. I mean, I'll have to check one of them. And not everything came with labels, so I don't know about some of it, of course. And so um, this is just beautiful. You can see the depth of color um, in it, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. And so super excited about that. And I actually got another color from that same yarn that I'm going to show you. And it's not my usual style. It is not what I was hoping for. I ended up getting one of these in my knit crate because they made a mistake and sent me two knit crates. What a lovely mistake. <laughs> I'll take that kind of mistake any day. But this is the same um, it was from October. This one's called Brains. That's the color of this one. I can't forget that. That's a great name. And it's sort of a yellowy green. Green is not my style. Yellow is not my style because it just doesn't look very good on me. It tends to pull the color from my skin a lot and make me look a little pale. Can't tell on this, but it generally does. But it's so unique. And one of the reasons I love to crochet and knit is to make things that you're never going to see on anyone else. It's not going, it's completely unique. And so is this yarn. It has such interesting strands of yellow and darker green and a lighter green that I actually kind of love this color. So I got four of those and I had two, so I have six of these too. Wow. So many possibilities. That's one thing I love about this is you got so many possibilities from these little mystery crates. So here is another one. It's another green. Again, not my favorite. It's not uh, super flattering on me, but this is such a pretty color too. I mean, you can tell just on, especially I'm noticing the one on uh, this one right here, that you can tell there's so many different colors in it. It has like a, not as yellow as the other one, but you have such a nice depth of color. And when this gets made, it's going to be so beautiful. So yay for that. Let's see. I have, I think that's all from the, the Vitalana Dusk. I have this one. I actually think I got one of these unlabeled, but I know what it is because I've been sort of building my stash of this. It's a Vitalana Oasis and this color is Phoenix. It is 50% alpaca wool, 25% Peruvian uh, and slash merino wool blend and 25% Surrey alpaca. It's DK weight, 252 yards, always hand wash and made in Peru. And you can see it's such a deep 
purple. It looks almost black in the right lighting. Like when I put it right up here, I can see, but on the opposite side where it's a little darker, it looks almost black. It's such a nice purple, but you can see almost those little, little strings of almost gray in it in the, this lighting. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a really pretty color. And so I've been saving up enough to uh, make a garment from. So that's my, my little stash of that up there as I sort of collect up more of those. Um, the only thing I'm disappointed in, oh no, wait, let me tell, show you all my other, my other, I think that's all my Oasis. Sorry. <laughs> I got this one. This is Audin Wool's Chill. I'd already used up my um, stash of this on a beautiful shawl I made for my aunt. It is not something I can use myself. It's, um, when I was young, I always assumed I would hate wool yarns always. I couldn't wear like Angora. I couldn't wear anything with wool because I just would start getting a little bit of a rash, but more than anything, it was just itchy and unpleasant for me. And then as, so I worked with acrylics for a very long time until I discovered some wools that I was like, hey, this doesn't bother me at all. And so I had to sort of discover what worked for me and what didn't. Mohair doesn't work for me. There's mohair in this. Um, it also has silk and 80% wool. And I find things that are marked just plain wool are the ones that kind of irritate me. Now, this doesn't irritate me a ton, but it irritates me enough that I wouldn't put it up against my skin. Um, but you can see it is such a unique color. That's what I, when I brought it home, when it came in my crate the first time, I was like, this is such a different color. It's, it's certainly not something you're going to see coming and going. And so I made her a beautiful shawl out of it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with just one skein. Who knows? I suspect I'm going to have to put a giveaway together soon because um, I'm getting things like that that I really just can't use. And one skein really isn't enough, but we'll see what I do. Okay, I have two different things to show you. And I think I'm going to show you this one first. Oh my goodness. I got four of these. I'd already had a number of these. In fact, I even bought more of these because I love it so much. It is uh, Uru Yarn. I'm just going to put the others down. Uru Yarn Electric. It is called Wired is this color. It's a pink and that might look black in there, but it's actually a deep blue. So it's pink and blue. It's 40% Huakaya Apaka. It's 30% wool, capital W wool. I just told you about that. 30% Suri Alpaca and it's worsted weight, 150 yards per skein, hand wash of course, and made in Peru. Now um, this I can actually wear for a little while, but then it starts to irritate me a little bit. It's not as bad as some other ones, but, um, and you can see it has hairs. I don't know if you can see hairs off of it. Um, and it just is too much for me, but I made a hat and cowl set for my sister out of this and it was so gorgeous on her. It is beautiful. If you know someone who likes pink and who can wear pink and is just a big personality, it matched her so perfectly and looked just stunning on her. So I was really happy with that. Um, I have this one. This is Audine Wool's Chill. Now I have this in a lavender and I haven't done anything with it yet because look at that. It is so drapey. This thing is going to be gorgeous. And I don't do a ton of knit projects, but this yarn deserves knitting needles. Um, I am big by crafty. I can do knitting and crocheting, um, but I'm slower at my knitting. Um, it seems like I put it down a lot more because I don't enjoy it as much as crocheting. And so I find that my things that I'm knitting are gorgeous, but I probably do two, maybe three a year maximum. But um, isn't this beautiful? This yarn is called, it's Audine Wool's Chill, and this is called Beauty is Everywhere, and it sure is in this yarn. I got four of these in the mystery crates, and it's gorgeous. So I can't wait to make something out of that. Um, but whatever it is, it'll probably knit, because this is going to have stunning drape. Um, oh no, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I got one of these that was untagged and it looks like the others were tagged. Um, I got, this is the same wool, I can tell because of that. So this is also a chill in just a different color. I don't know what color it is because there's no tag, but um, I, I'm sure I could go research it. Oh, I guess I can do this for you. You can see it has a nice little weight to it. 
All right, now I'm gonna show you the two that I don't know what I'm gonna do with quite, but um, these are the sock yarns. That's the thing that happens with mystery bundles. You get what you get and you might get a weight you don't usually use. I am not much of a two weight person. Uh, three weights I like to use, I like DKs and I like um, bulky and I love worsted the most. Um, but this is so cute. This is with um, Creative Grandma. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, she is so fabulous. She has some nice tutorials. And when she talks about yarn, I really like listening to her talk about yarn a lot. Uh, Audine Wool Shine Sport is the name of this. 80% uh, superwash merino, 20% tensile. It's a sport weight, 350 yards. A machine wash cold, which is nice. You know, there's so many things that are sport weight to make socks out of. And then they're not machine washable. I was like, how lame is that? What do you expect me to do with my socks? Hand wash them? No, my socks go in the wash. And so um, this is a really lovely little yarn that uh, I think is very pretty. I don't know what I'll use it with. Anytime I use 2 weight, I um, double it up with something else. So maybe I'll find something to double it with. And this, it even came unraveled. It wasn't quite even raveled, much less labeled. Um, it's a sport weight yarn really pretty. I don't get, I don't do socks, so I don't get the sock crate, so I don't know what it is, but it's definitely a sport weight. Pretty enough. No idea what I'll do with it, but it's fine. Now, all the rest of this. Oh my goodness. I love this yarn. I actually am stashing away a bunch of this yarn so that I can make myself just a decadent, decadent cardigan with it. It's called Audine Wool's Mellow. Love this yarn. It is really... Uh, you can see it has drape. It is, it's going to be very drapey, but it's also bulky. So this is, I believe, a five weight. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's a bulky weight. It is very, very soft. Now, I'm not saying any of those others are not soft. Most of them are soft too, but this is softer <laughs> in comparison. It's very soft. It's very squishy and just very, uh, has a lot of movement to it. I think this is going to be beautiful. A very, to me, this is a luxury yarn and I will um, love whatever I make out of it. Um, and you can see the color. You have a little bit of almost, lots of sheen. That's actually, it looks almost a whole different color with the lights on it because it's, it has so much sheen to it. Um, it's actually a little bit more blue. Maybe you can see kind of if I if I block the light a little. Yeah, so you can see that it has, it's more blue than that, but it just has such a nice sheen to it that it shows up like that. It's, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's 80% Huakaya Apaka, 20% tensile. It's bulky weight, 125 yards per skein, which is why I've been sort of, as I have the money and as it goes on, when I get a really good sale on it, I buy a little bit more and um, uh, it's hand wash made in Peru, like everything else. But I think with this uh, mystery bundle stuff, I have enough because I got one, two, three, six of them in there. So between most of them don't have labels and I don't care. I'm so happy. Lovely to have that. Now these are the same brand. This is all mellow yarn, but I got it in, well, none of them are labeled, but I got it in a variety of colors. Um, you can see these two are one color really pretty. This one is a different, more of a tan. Again, gorgeous. And this red, love reds. And so I thought maybe I'd put these two together for a project, maybe a um, striped cowl um, and maybe hat if I have enough. So I love this. Like I said, it's so soft, so shiny and just absolutely decadent feeling. So that is everything I got for my many mystery bundles. As you can see, I got a lot of mystery bundles, but at buy one, get one, made it $20 each. That was stunning. But I'm telling you, I think at $40 each, it's still a really good deal to me. I mean, of course, you, you make your own choices. Um, I do have some other Knit Crate yarn. I'm just gonna kind of throw in here. It's um, stuff that I'm really kind of excited about. So I just wanna show you. Um, I got a few of these. Um, Audine Wool's Bloom. I love Audine Wool's Bloom. I'm actually currently making a top-down uh, Ragland cardigan from it. And if you can see, this color is so pretty. It is really nice. It works up very nicely as well. 
and has a nice depth of color and it's really thick and sort of squishy and yet it's not heavy it's very light and so i'm really loving working with it so i decided to buy more and i bought this color isn't that so it's kind of orangey kind of ready the color it's actually the name of a flower Naster, nastertium and it's 80 percent alpaca wool 10 percent silk and 10 percent camel i thought i had an issue with camel but i have no issue with this at all it's called dk weight but i don't think so um it's it's closer i think to a worsted you can see that right there it is um it is very light feeling though. I mean, it's just light as air, but um, because of the chain, it's chain spun like that and like a little uh, square chain, it is definitely um, airy, which I think will make it nice. And um, it's 231 yards. It will make it nice and warm and just, oh, I really, really like this yarn and I love the depth of color. And I decided I really, needed more. I want another thing made out of this yarn. I really like working with it a lot. Um, so this is what I'm working on. And I've really, I've always made my stuff in panels because I know how to sew. And I sewed before I did um, knitting and crocheting. But I am really loving top down. Um, I used to take do my panels, sew them together, and then sometimes I would be a little surprised <laughs> at uh, how it fit. And that's the joy, I think, of doing something with the top down is you know how it fits as you're doing it. And I really love that. And I'm, I'm enjoying doing top down stuff right now. So I might continue with that. Um, I don't know if you've tried top down before, especially if you're a sewer, you might, you might go, oh, no, I love doing panels. I like sewing it together. Um, but you might consider trying top down. I will post the person who I'm following with this. Um, I'm a little fascinated with not using necessarily a pattern right now, although it is, I guess, a pattern. Uh, Awana is the person whose YouTube um, video I'm following, and she basically breaks down measurements to stitches for you on how to make something, a top down raglan uh, cardigan just using your measurements and then taking that to stitches and dividing stuff up. And uh, it's been really fascinating. I think that um, it helps me to understand the construction part. And I'm really fascinated with that right now. I know on our knitting and crocheting journeys, anything that we're doing you know, artistically like that, sometimes uh, we are all interested in different things at different times. There was a time where I was obsessed with hats, obsessed with cowls. I still kind of obsessed with cowls. Um, but right now I'm sort of interested in how, how to make sort of my own patterns from measurements and that kind of thing. So if someone comes to me and wants me to make something for them, I can do it and have it tailored to them. So Oana's, um, it's, it's a long video. It's a long series of videos and she talks a lot, which I understand. Um, but if you want to check it out and sort of learn how to adjust patterns to your, how to, well, make a pattern based on your own measurements, you might consider taking a look at it. Anyway, I can go on and on as well. And I totally understand that. And I hope you're doing well. I hope that you found um, some of this yarn interesting, um, whether you choose to just get one of them uh, from seeing it from the Knit Crate site, or if you want to try the mysteries. Um, mysteries are a gamble, as you know. Sometimes you get great stuff, sometimes you don't. Um, so if you want to take the gamble, do it. Otherwise, you might consider just going to Knit Crate and getting your own yarn there. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are healthy. Please take care of yourselves and stay healthy and keep creating. Put your creations out in the world. We need more people to create and less people to destroy. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.